Hey everyone, it's Shalia from Twin Flames IRL. Welcome to episode 21. Now we haven't uploaded a video in like, I don't know, at least like two weeks or so. And I want to tell you why. Dun dun dun. What do you think's happened? I'll tell you what's happened. We moved. <laughs> Finally, we moved to our own um, house. It's a townhouse, a three-story townhouse. And this is a really big deal. Um, you know, um, some of you may or may not know that Jeff and I got married three months ago uh, in January. And uh, we um, haven't had our own place yet, like just us. We sort of did in Hawaii, but um, it was really like a, a, it was. We lived in like a really huge house that was cut off into sections. So you basically, basically, we felt like we were like living with all our neighbors. We didn't. Uh, it wasn't all that private at all. And um, yeah, it was just um, not the same kind of situation. And um, you know, we had a landlord. Um, who, um, you know, wasn't the best landlord. <laughs> so the deal with, is with where we're living now, we don't have a landlord. We have a management company. Because, uh, I mean, they, it's a huge like townhouse community. And so it's like a company that manages it. So, it, you know, it's a, it's a whole different ball game um, when it's a company versus, like, uh, one or two people who are landlords, like a couple or something, or just one person, um, because uh, typically they're focused on you. <laughs> you know, that's that's been our experience. Um, uh, yeah, they're focused on you because you're living in their house that they own, and uh, I guess it's it just feels a lot more personal uh, when you're renting out your home versus a company that. Uh, owns and manages like a community of like townhouses or an apartment building complex. It's just com a completely different vibe. So anyways, I'll give you guys a quick tour. Jeff is um, around somewhere. He's hanging out in bed and I think um, playing on his phone. <laughs> but like we'll say hi. I just wanted to um, give you all a quick update and to like share with you a little bit um, what's been going on and we'll go Jeff and I will go into more detail about it in like another video but this one is really just to share with you um, our new little home it's not in order we literally just moved in like two days ago and there's a crazy story behind us moving like an insane story and um, I'll probably share we'll probably share that in our next video um, I just, that's something that Jeff should probably be involved in because, <laughs> you know, he'll uh, remember certain things I don't remember and he has his whole side to that story and I uh, just want to keep things um, kind of short today and share with you guys the home. So we, luckily we did a Craigslist run with a U-Haul um, truck and you can kind of see I'm sitting on a couch. Look at me, I'm sitting on a couch. We picked up couches, we picked up like a regular size couch, and then we picked up like a love seat. And they're actually really nice. They're in really good condition. I really like, um, th they vibe really well with this home. This home, um, our address vibrates when you add all the numbers together. It vibrates to number seven, um, which is a, a very spiritual number. And uh, it kind of, to me, the the vibration of this home is like a temple, which is really perfect for Jeff and I right now because we, um, <laughs> uh, we're temple people, I guess you could say. We go in and out of, of temple. And what I really mean by that is we go in and out of um, doing our, uh, going inside, doing our inner work. And when Jeff and I are going through an intense period of change and transition, um, we we go into temple. That's what we call it. I mean, we go inside ourselves a lot. We don't um, do much social media. We don't do much videos, as you can tell. So, you know, <laughs> two weeks, you know, two weeks, no videos on YouTube. Well, we were in temple and, 
you know, there's a, once again, there's a whole huge story of what happened in those two weeks. It's a tight ride, like, um, you know, in, in a nutshell, we got, like, illegally evicted uh, by our landlord who just literally had, um, out of nowhere, a psychotic breakdown. And it was really scary, and, like, we called the cops. Actually, she called the cops on herself, but basically she was, like, call, trying to call them on us, and it just didn't make... It was really weird. It didn't make any sense. She just went psycho. So, anyways, um, it worked out good in our favor, um, because, well, as you can see, we landed our first really awesome home, and this is what Jeff and I have been focusing on manifesting. So we, you know, we don't have much um, because we've always lived with roommates, at least for the past, like, five, six years for me, um, between, uh, pretty much because I've been gypsying around, you know, just going from, like, place to place, state to state, um, I visit some countries, and, you know, I just, uh, I hadn't been tied down at all, and especially because I... I uh, wasn't in my union, uh, I wasn't tied, I wasn't in a long-term commitment really until I met Jeff, so, you know, uh, settling down happens like that, so, we're, anyways, going back to the couches, we're gonna, um, we're gonna steam clean the couches, and we're gonna do that soon, we've just been in a huge rest period, but, uh, I'm really stoked on it, because it's actually really comfy, and, kind of reminds me of home like it, it there's similar vibe and feel to uh, some of the couches that I grew up with so that's um yeah that's really nice and um let me move it around here so we got we still had to bring these upstairs we literally just like plopped two dressers and we're like fuck this we're done <laughs> we were so tired we did we literally did like a midnight move it was insane but it was kind of like unplanned um you know we just went to go pick up a bed and it turns out uh this couple was like selling like everything like that we practically needed to like you know have basics down in our house and so we you know, basically rented a U-Haul truck and got their couches, got their bed, got their dresser, got a big fan and a toaster. It's really funny. So we got finally our internet installed and I've just been hanging out down here because um, when you've been without a, uh, a living room for like years or um, not wanting to share the space with a psycho, you basically just live in your room. <laughs> I'm sure some of you can relate to that. So I have been basically camped out in the living room, enjoying the living room, and um, just doing my work. Oh, I hear Jeff. Jeff is making his entrance like a princess. Say that little quip you want to say. I don't have a quip. Oh, wow, that's a first. I just came to show myself. Hi. What do you want to say to the lovely people? I think I said it all in my body language. I'm very happy to be here. Oh, yeah, I know. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> it's a relief, mm. isn't it? Amen. Big relief. Yeah. But uh, I've got a uh, reading to complete for a client um, on the double, so I'm going to get some breakfast and I'll leave you guys to your video. Oh, so Jeff will not be joining us in this video. Well, I mean, I'm going to have some breakfast here, but... So you know, this uh, this is our kitchen. Oh yeah, we also scored a uh, a table from that same couple. We're gonna like probably a tablecloth for it, and you know it's a really sweet kitchen. Very awesome. I love it. Having your own kitchen is a miracle. And um, I was saying to Jeff like the first time, the first time like we had our meal here, I was like this is the first time in a long time that I actually feel comfortable like eating. Um, it was just so, it was so strange to like sit there and be comfortable eating and you know when we're not comfortable when we're eating and like we're stressed, the um, our, uh, <laughs> our digestive system tightens and uh, it's hard on our system to digest food and get bloated and you know probably can gain weight easier that way too if you're stressed and you're eating and your digestive system is like a bit yeah, like that food if you're versus that but 
So you get less nourishment from the food if you're stressed out while you're eating. Yeah, less nourishment. So, um, let me see. I'm trying to flip this cam here. So anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah, we got a... This is like our... Oh my what God, you call it's it? It's a cover. It's a cover. It's a miracle cover. It's a big deal for me because it means our garbage can is hidden and I really like that. So this is our welcome mat. <laughs> our front door. Welcome to our home. And right across from our front door is the basement. And I'll just show you briefly this. I mean, there's nothing really exciting down here. Yes, there is. Except for my washing machine, which I love. And it needs a few repairs. We bought it used, and the lady hadn't used it in a while, but apparently it needs a little bit of work, but it's still usable. This is where we're going to be shooting um, more of our professional videos. We're going to set up, basically, we're going to set up our studio down here. And uh, we haven't bought in a dryer yet, but we will. But in the meantime, we line dry with the fan. Oh yeah, where there's a will, there's a way. And this is our new washing machine. It's a couple of years old. But one of the things I really love about it are all these freaking options. Like, come on. I love, that is where I got sold. And if you look inside, I love the top, I love the top loading. But there's no like big ass, agitator in the middle it's just like you know I just like that I, I don't like the big sticks in the middle and uh, I certainly don't like the front load washing machines they break my back and they're annoying and they get mold inside of them I've seen that and the rubber breaks it's just crap so anyway yep that's our junk pile for now it will get sorted but mostly like just our books and our boxes left over you know moving crap that you don't care about so let's move on. Let's move on. I just love how big and spacious it is, you know? Okay. All right, moving on to the next. La, it's the kitchen, I can't get enough of. We get a really nice, uh, we have lots of beautiful natural light. I love that. And wonderful cross breeze, which is really important for me. I love fresh air. And let's go up to the stairs. This is the upstairs. This is our office where my mister is hanging out in. Mister, mister. <laughs> it's not in order yet. We have actually another big closet in there. Doors are closed because there's nothing interesting going on. Here's the handsome. Oh, we did get a, uh, a new shelf. Old shelf. Oh, that's right. New shelf. From that, co from that couple. Apparently they're not planning on moving till like three months from now, but they just want to get rid of stuff. And, and Jeff and I, like, after we like loaded up, we're like, "What are they gonna sleep and sit on?" <laughs> they have like one office chair. I'm like, "Well, maybe they had a second home we weren't aware of because we got all their stuff." Or maybe they're planning on getting an air mattress after we left. I don't know. I don't know, man. But anyway, it was kind of like that's not how I would have rolled it. But different strokes for different folks. And uh, pictures and stuff, and you know, getting things organized. Got another shelf. We'll probably figure that out. Probably put it down in the basement so I can no, put some stuff it's in. No, our altar. Yeah, all right. <laughs> well, well, we'll see. I don't know. It kind of got a little cracked in the move. I don't like that. And uh, so yeah, this is gonna be like our altar piece in our uh, office. Of course, my books. Love my books. Probably do a video giving a rundown on my books one day. I have like 20 oracle cards hanging out, <laughs> some up there, and uh, yeah, got, we do our readings like every day. <laughs> Briefly, this is well, the bathroom, and we've got this new shower curtain, really like it. And um, back to what I was saying about our home being a 7 vibration, um, it calls for a certain color scheme, which is dark blue, um, royal purple, gold, and white. Those are the, that's the color palette for a seven vibration home. So we are trying to align with those colors and uh, it feels really, <laughs> it feels really good. Like when I look at this, I think of Archangel Michael and uh, yeah, I always feel comforted with his energy around, oops, there we go. 
And last but not least, <laughs> the chaotic bedroom. <laughs> So we're gonna get our bed in order and get the dressing dressers up here. And uh, I love this is my closet. De Jeff's gonna use the other closet, the office closet for his own uh, clothes and stuff. But can't really tell. This is like actually a pretty decent big walk-in closet, and that makes me feel really, really good. So let me see. I'll flip back here. So yeah, that, uh, that's basically the, the quick tour of our house, and um, we will definitely be doing more videos soon, giving you an update and about you know what happened those past two weeks, um, some of the lessons that we learned, how our twin flame union and marriage was tested, and how it's uh, grown much more deeper and much more stronger through this move and through the challenge of uh, a roommate and um, I want to say a slum lord. I know it's so mean, but um, some you know people who living with living with people who are quite literally psychos um, because they live in their ego um, so, like all the time and like on the deep end of the ego, you know. Anyways, thank you so 